Congress is back after its August summer recess, and its biggest challenge with just weeks to go before the end of the fiscal year is to avoid another government shutdown that could impact Guam. PNC's Washington correspondent Matt Kay reports. The last federal shutdown in 2013 was no picnic. Guam's war in the Pacific National Historical Park was shuttered. Hundreds of DOD civilians and other federal workers in Guam were furloughed. Payments to federal contractors were held back and visa applications were put on hold. Congressional offices were forced to send home non-essential staff while members of Congress and the president kept working to try to resolve their political differences over funding Obamacare. That was three years ago. Today, lawmakers face a toxic pre-election landscape with just four weeks to hammer out a stopgap spending deal for lack of final action on individual agency funding bills, including for the islands. But there's a fight brewing. Conservatives want to pass a six-month measure that leaves it up to a new Congress and president, not a lame duck session that could force the GOP to accept big new spending before Christmas. Democrats and some moderate Republicans want to wrap up FY17 spending this year after the election. Still to be decided, new military construction spending that could add up to nearly a quarter of a billion dollars for the Guam buildup and the all-important National Defense Authorization Act that greenlights military spending and includes Congresswoman Madeleine Bordalio's Guam war claims in the House version. On Capitol Hill, Matt Kay for PNC News.